Hello, it's October 18th, uh, 2021. It's about 3 p.m. I just wanted to follow up with a few things that have been happening. I got these books. This is uh, by Dr. John Hall, Guinea Pigs. And he also has another book, uh, A New Breed. Highly recommended for anyone who's interested in reading about this technology. I've had a few comments on my videos, uh, people saying that they don't really follow what's happening. Uh, they like trolls, I guess, but. Uh, I just wanted to comment that that a lot of things that I'm recording now on YouTube have been happening to me for years. So just because of my dash cam and my car and the fact that I have uh, some time, free time here at my business. We're not busy during the lunch rush, so I have time in the mornings usually to make these videos. And so in the past I didn't have access to computers or really be in a stable situation where I could think and make comments about what was going on. So. That's one of the reasons for so many videos. I've been writing uh, uh, like memoirs of, of these experiences I've had and I'm putting it together into a book and so I hope to have that book available soon uh, so anybody who doesn't really understand the whole picture of what happened or what's happening to us, to me, uh, can also read the book. But uh, I just wanted to make comments. Uh, my my sister is uh, has been kind of distant with me ever since this started 25 years ago. We didn't talk for a long time. So I was reaching out to her on a number of occasions to try to get some support, uh, try to explain what was going on, but she writes it off. She seems to think that I'm making it up or that I'm delusional or something. She said that uh, I'm not stable. She said that to me seven years ago when there was a lot of gang stalking going on and death threats, harassment. But uh, it's, it's difficult, I know, for TIs to um, really to deal with this because they've been isolated. It's part of the techniques is to get you isolated from your families and maybe lose your job because of it. And it really makes it difficult to focus on everyday tasks. I have trouble with my business here. Uh, it's like thanks to my wife we're able to keep it going but I, I think if I was by myself here trying to run this business that the harassment and everything would be too much. They've got me so sensitized to certain things that it's very easy for them to uh, do something uh, like a trigger and it, it kind of sets me off into um, really brings back a lot of memories, a lot of bad feelings, and almost like they're able to induce psychosis through 
the triggers through the gang stalking. So I managed to get through this last wave uh, of it. It seemed to uh, calm down quite a bit. I'm not sure why it comes and goes, but I bought this uh, uh, it's a body camera uh, off Amazon. And just so you know, uh, I I wear it. I deliver pizza here in Surrey, and so I just wear it. It's got a little flashing red light on it, so it's pretty obvious what what it is. Uh, people might think that's strange. Why would you have that? But I I I prepare myself if they say something to me then I just uh, would say that you know I deliver at night in questionable locations here in the city center and I, it's just for my own security but the truth is I, I'm using it to try to catch these guys with the gang stalking they're You know, I'm still questioning if it's all organized. Uh, like in previous videos, there's been things happen and the timing is so precise. It's just incredible. Like for example, with the Teslas in the, in the tunnels and other people showing up at certain times just the the timing is very precise so I, I'm thinking that a lot of it's happening like the people sweeping the floors and mopping the floors around me when I go somewhere I, I'm thinking that it's just the computers triggering these people to react around me uh, I used to think that they were doing it on purpose, like organized stalking. So this is an important thing to re remember if you feel targeted. That it, sometimes it feels like it's everybody. Sometimes it feels like there's a lot of people organized after you. But I think that the technology and the computers, the programs they're using, they're able to get people around you to react. So it feels like you're being gang stalked or, you're, or things are happening on purpose, but I think the, the programs is picking up on your reactions to things and making them happen. That's my feeling today. It, it actually gives me more control over my emotions because I used to get quite angry about it, thinking I want to lash out, I want to hurt these people that are doing this to me. And that's, I think, what part of the program is doing is trying to get you to react, it's trying to get you to lash out. And then maybe you're lashing out at somebody who has no idea that they're actually doing this that bothers you, that gets in your way, interference with you, and they don't even realize they're doing it. And then you lash out at them and they've got you then because now there's witnesses to you um, not acting normal or perhaps doing something violent uh, against one of these people and then they've got you they get you in the in the criminal justice system and once you're inside that it's you can't break free because now they've got you marked uh, your license plates on your car and your license plates and all this information is now available to anybody in the police or the government that 
wants to discriminate against you. So uh, it's just uh, some words of advice from my experience that it's not good to react. It's better to take the higher ground and as long as they're not physically harming you then you have to walk away you have to keep walking away there's no, nothing else you can do otherwise they'll trap you I've been in the hospital the gang stalking got so bad the threats the verbal threats got so bad that uh, I was trying to lash out I was getting really angry and I was getting upset and telling my wife about it and she reacted she thought I was becoming a threat to other people so that's when they had me hospitalized but she didn't know at the time that these were external forces really creating this monster in me and they seem to enjoy that they're really sadistic uh, people or beings behind this and they win every time you get mad because stress is known to take years off your life it puts pressure on your body in ways that you can't imagine you can develop cancers and other diseases for just from too much stress so when they realize this and then you getting angry adds more stress to your body also these people are dark they're narcissistic they feed off of this type of reaction so if they're reading your mind and hearing your thoughts about how you're going to fight back or your misery then they're actually winning because they're gaining what they want they want to hear that they want to push you down so the key is to stay focused on something you need to find something for me it's my family thank God for them and also my business here my wife and I run this business and we're really independent from um, from this I realize sometimes the people that are coming that order our food are uh, part of the organized stocking, but I just deal with it. My wife deals with them, and I look at it as money income that we need, so sometimes I just have to swallow it and just take the money. One of the things that really bothered me over the last few years was the ambulances and they continue until today even. I've, I saw two or three today and I only made a short trip uh, to Costco. And what are the odds, like how many ambulances actually exist in Surrey and what are the odds that they'll be in full flight with their, with their sirens going when you're there? Um, you really have to calculate the odds. My sister said, well, it's the area you live in, there's a lot of ambulance activity, a lot of police activity, and I said, yeah, but when it happens so often and it happens only when you go out then it becomes a pattern 
and they made it so obvious to me that they brought an ambulance right to me after I complained about it to my doctor. I said that these people were harassing me and they're using ambulances to stalk me and harass me and I left the doctor's office and went outside and they brought an ambulance right to the parking right in front of my car actually where I was going to get in so it was right in my face and the guy got out of the ambulance he started pulling the the rubber gloves on this was before COVID and he looks at me with the meanest look on their face like none of these people are smiling at me so it's done to intimidate you it's done to upset you they know it upsets you so they keep doing it so the way to win the way to beat them is to not let it get to you not let it upset you find some focus in your life find something start your own hobby your own hobby business of some sort uh, I don't know there must be people from all different backgrounds maybe not as lucky as as I've been to have the doors open in front of me but I, I chose this business I found it online the guy was trying to look for a partner to help him open it uh, he had partially built the place so I approached him with very little money and after a while I found he wasn't putting any money only I was so I told him that I couldn't be his partner but I could rent the place from him and that's been four years ago now so almost five years so I've been able to keep this going and and have an income for uh, five years sometimes a good income as well because people like pizza and we make different types of food here but it's my focus and when I'm doing it I'm trying to do it good and so I take my focus off the mind control and the harassment I just focus in on making the best pizza I can make and that's how I deal with it but my recommendation is to find something that you can take your mind away from they want to isolate you they want you to it to become something that is ruining your life and you can't let them do it you have to find a way to distract yourself and also when you go out if you're going to do something try not to plan it out too much in your head try to go to different stores when you go shopping try to do random things or make a list of things at the beginning of the week and then throughout the week just quickly pick one at a time and do them as quick as you can it will slow them down because they're not able to react and to stalk you to those locations as quickly and then realize, remember, there we're dealing with some pretty sophisticated technology here. And the, the people that you perceive as harassers, as gang stalkers, perhaps are just regular people. And the system is using them, using them to get to you.